Hi everyone, it's Mel here from UG Studio, Sydney, Australia, and I'm here to tell you about the first 100 series of games. Now, if you're anything like me, you are currently watching The Globe going to self-isolation. For a lot of people, this means more time at home, and for many people, it means the kids have more time at home. Yes, we know, it's starting to get a little bit stressful, but we want to help you with that. We're hearing lots of people saying, how am I going to educate my kids at home? How am I going to entertain them? How can I offer some unplugged fun to get them off those devices? What are some games that I can trust? Well, the first 100 series is perfect for that. It starts at ages two plus, and it's based on the wildly popular book series by Pretty Books. The games take the books to another level as kids engage in hands-on learning and are taught activities that include vocabulary, counting, numbers, uh, colors, opposites, cooperation, coordination, patience, social skills, and so much more. So let's introduce you to the first 100 range of games from University Games. To start the range, we have the first 100 matching card games and we have three different styles, alphabet, animals, and words. Now, matching card games are great for improving attention to detail, visual memory, and even patience. Ah. Apple. Next, we have the first 100 puzzle cards. Now, these cover off shapes and opposites and also numbers. They're great for motor skill development. And they also have self-correcting pieces, which means that children can only make the correct match after trying a few times. And this helps build confidence. What does self-correcting pieces mean? I'll give a quick demonstration. These two fit together, but these two can't. So children are going to find the right match and that'll help reinforce the information and the match on the card as well. And then we have two staple games in the range. The first 100 number shapes bingo game and the first 100 words activity game. Let's take a closer look at how these play. The first 100 numbers shapes bingo game include four double sided bingo boards, 26 picture cards and 40 bingo tokens. The object of the game is to match picture cards to pictures on the bingo boards. The first player to place four bingo tokens in a row and call bingo wins. Before playing the game for the first time, an adult assists by punching out the included bingo tokens. They then give each player a bingo board and place the picture cards face down and the bingo tokens in a pile where they are accessible by players. The game is designed with many variations for young children and gives parents and caregivers the opportunity to introduce children to many early game concepts. To begin play, an adult axes the caller and takes a picture card from the pile. They show the card to all the players and explain the image. For example, one, one boat. It's blue and white. All players search their bingo boards to find a matching picture. If a player finds a match, then that player places a token on the matching picture on the board. As children learn how to play the game, they can also take a turn acting as the caller, describing the image on the card that players need to find. The first player to place four bingo tokens in a row on their bingo board calls bingo and wins the game. Variations of this game are a simple matching game. The object of this game is just to collect four bingo tokens. For children who are unable to place or keep their bingo tokens on the bingo board, this is the perfect version of the game for them. The player needs to just find a match and simply place the token anywhere on the board or in a pile next to the board. Or you can also play this game as a cooperative game. In this variation, all players work together on one bingo board. In the first 100 words activity game, children are introduced to simple counting, social skills and first 100 words. 
The game encourages fun, interactive learning through movement and exploration. The game includes 50 double-sided picture cards, one soft number die, one soft category die, and instructions. Before playing, parents punch out the 50 double-sided picture cards. To start playing the game, find a wide open room in which to place the cards. Place cards all around the room, on the couch, the floor. It just needs to be anywhere the cards will be readily visible to a child. It doesn't matter which side is facing up. Place the dice in an open area where a child can easily roll them on the table or floor. Children will delight in rolling the soft, chunky dice and looking for picture cards featuring words and images from three categories, animals, things, and my world. The first person to take a turn is the adult, demonstrating how to play the game. If the number die is rolled, look for that number of cards to collect. If the category die is rolled, find a card with the same colour background as the die. If both the number and category die are rolled, then find that number of cards with the same colour background as the die. Next is the child's turn. The adult should guide them through the step. At the end of three rounds, each player shows what they have found. All players count up all found cards. That is the team's collective point total and everybody wins. Variations of this game can include a taking turns game, where players take turns using the numbers die and after four rounds count how many cards they have each individually collected to see who the winner is, and a can you find what I'm thinking of game. Adults and if children are ready, take turns describing a card that is visible in the room, giving hints to what it is. For example, I am purple, I grow in the garden, I sometimes smell nice. Also try making up your own games. Depending on which activity is selected, parents and caregivers have the opportunity to introduce children to many early game and learning concepts, including taking turns, cooperative and competitive play, and counting colors and vocabulary. So we really hope you've enjoyed learning about the first 100 games today from University Games and that this has been helpful when you're looking for activities for your children that are going to be entertaining, unplugged and educational as well. If you've liked this video, please remember to subscribe, comment and share. And thanks again for watching here at UG Studios. If you found this video helpful, go ahead, give it a like. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel to make sure you're on top of the latest videos and content from your friends at UG Studios. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. I had a really good apple. <laughs>